here is definitive proof that Ray is a Skywalker. Ray's eyes are closed. Anakin's eyes are closed. Now, watch this. This is a key thing. Now, did you notice the cracks in the grounds then? Or should I say the cracks in the temple? Well, doesn't that remind you of the cracks in the grounds that Ray creates in this trailer? A lot of people are going to be saying, oh, but this 2003 Claim War show isn't canon anymore. Well, I mean, that doesn't really matter because, like, the Old Republic isn't canon anymore. Yet, there were still Hammerhead ships in Rogue One. And even um, those Sith Stalker ships in Rogue One look similar to, um, like, some of the... Uh, fighters that the Sith Empire had. In in my honest opinion, this 2003 like Claim War series uh, deserves to be canon more than a new one does. Now, I always thought that this was the definitive moment where Asajj Ventress dies. But maybe she just falls. I mean, some people could say, oh, um, Asajj Ventress might be Snake because she's bald. I mean, yeah, that, I mean, because that's, that kind of goes back to the Mace Windu theory because Mace Windu's bald, but we're not going too much into that. So, <clears throat> also, there are loads of things that happen in this series, like why I think it should be canon. Number one, um, it shows how Anakin gets his scar on his face. <clears throat> um, number two, it shows the droid invasion of Coruscant, which, in my opinion, is one of the most massivest things in Star Wars. Like, <clears throat> I mean, just imagine if that was in an actual live-action film. That would have been, like, absolutely awesome. I mean... Obviously, it was awesome already that it was in a cartoon, but it would be even more awesome if it was in an actual live-action film. But, <clears throat> so, the next point, it shows Anakin um, being made a Jedi Knight. I'm my best to pass his teaching to you. And in our time together, you have proven to me that you are capable of all he believed you would be. And now we must leave our roles as master and student. It is time we became brothers, Master. So that kind of echoes the line from episode three, where he says, You were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. So, another point, it shows um, why Grievous coughs all of the time. And it's because, like, 
Mace Windu uses the force to do something to his lungs. So, it, it's to do with his breathing, basically. And, um, so yeah, like, another point, Shark T is in the Clone Wars, uh, 2003 series, but she's also in the new one as well. Now, I mean, to me, Shaq T is one of my favourite Star Wars characters of all time. Like, I mean, I think it's absolutely insulting that they're saying that the Force Unleashed games and this 2003 Claymore series are not canon anymore because Shaq T plays a major role in both of, the, both of those things. So, I mean, like, she was like the main Jedi who tried to, to stop the Chancellor from being kidnapped. Like, and that leads me on to my next point, actually. But the Clone Wars 2003 series leads directly into Episode 3. Like, with the Chancellor being kidnapped and everything. <clears throat> so, I don't get why people think that Ahsoka and Ezra are better characters than Shark T. Like, because Sh Sh Shark T is clearly the better character, and plus, she was invented first as well. Like, I know sometimes people get Shark T and Ahsoka mixed up because they're the same species, but still. Like, I mean, even, even Kit Fisto's a better character than Ahsoka and Ezra. Like, what, do you just think Ezra's Snoke because he's got that, that, those scars on his face there? Like, I mean, don't expect, like, massive references to Star Wars Rebels just because Star Wars Rebels is canon. Like, in actual fact, in the movies, there's been more references to the Old Republic, even though the Re Old Republic's not even canon. So, it, it, it obviously indicates that there are certain aspects of the Old Republic that still are canon. Like, for example, like, the rule of two thing with Darth Bane. Because, like, Yoda, um, met with the spirit of Darth Bane in, in the, uh, newer, uh, Clone Wars series. So, I haven't watched, like, every single episode of the newer Claymore series, so I couldn't tell you whether Asajj Ventress dies in it or not, but, I mean, like, it kind of sucks if her death, like, isn't explained in the more up-to-date version, because, like... After all, this is the version that is supposedly canon now. Like, unless she's in Star Wars Rebels, I don't know, because I haven't watched Star Wars Rebels yet. But, at the end of the day, like, um, people like Lana Benico are more legendary characters than Ahsoka and Ezra, in my opinion. Like, also, like, Revan, Bastila, Jarrell, Zane Carrick. They're just some of the characters that are better than Ahsoka and Ezra. Even Griff as well. So, let's just say that every single character from the Old Republic is better than Ahsoka and Ezra. Like, even Tharon Shan and Satil Shan. Um... Just because Ezra discovered this lightsaber that looks similar to Kylo Ren's, that doesn't mean nothing. Because, number one, it's a different colour. 
a number two, there's probably loads of lightsabers like this. Or, like, some at least. Like, these could be, like, ancient lightsabers. Which makes me think that maybe Snoke gave an ancient lightsaber to Kylo Ren. Which makes me think that Snoke might be an ancient set. So, like, every character from the Force Unleashed games is better than Ahsoka and Ezra as well. Like, especially, like, uh, Starkiller, Juno Eclipse, and General Kota. I just don't get why certain people slag off General Revis, because to me, he's a brilliant villain. Like, he's much more interesting than Count Dooku and Darth Maul, in my opinion. Well, in actual fact, he's more interesting than Poe, Finn, BBA, and Kylo Ren. 